hello everyone welcome back okay what is a stream in java very popular question and uh, if you write code using functional programming way then it is one of the uh, popular way of writing functional programming code base so let's un understand what is stream okay so to start with let's start with coding only so what i'm going to do I'm, i'll create a new class And I will write it as string. Example, I'll let public state void man. Okay. So first thing is what is a string? It's nothing but a sequence of, of objects, and we have multiple methods available, and on which various conditions we will select which method we can utilize. Now the very first thing is if we are talking about a stream. It means we are working on on a list. So first, what we will do? A list is having a multiple objects of a similar type, right? So we will divide it um, into a stream of objects, yeah. And on each object, we will perform some operation, right? So for example, I am having a list which is having integer values. Let me create a list. And it is of integer type. Okay, there are two ways either I can just uh, have that list of method otherwise I can add the values in using that add method so both of ways are fine let me just so I can do like this Or I can simply have maybe another list. other way it's fine now we have this list right what we want to do maybe we just want to print these values okay so if i don't use this stream api how will i proceed for example this is my list so what i will do i will just have a for loop and this is integer type my int And then inside this, I will have maybe system dot out dot print in, and I want to print my in. And I will just run this program, and it it, it is just printing all the values. Right? This is the legacy way. But with the stream, how can we achieve this? So first, what we will do? This is our list. First, we will convert it, it to stream. Let's convert it to my integers dot stream. So it means now I have one, two, four, five, and so on. Okay, what I want to do for each item, I want to just print it, right? So I can just use for each and I want to print 
these values here. So what I can do, I can create a private style method and integers. And I just want to print I and there is something called method reference since it's static method of this class right what I want to do I mean how can I refer this method I can just use this one and colon colon the static method name And if I just comment out this one, this is also printing the same thing. Now, if we just understanding what we are doing, my integers, which is a list, when I'm streaming it, it means first uh, this operation will be done on two, then three, then four, then one, then two, and so on. And for each, I want to do some operation and that operation is nothing but I want to execute this operation so using method reference because it's a static method I am just going this method uh, inside this method which is nothing but it's just printing this value okay this is one thing uh, because uh, I mean uh, another way would be because this is also static method I could have just used this also instead of this I will just write System dot out print ln and that will also give me the same result and in that case I don't need this I can comment it out and see it's in just one line what we are doing first we are streaming it and for each item we are just printing it that's it in this video and uh, let's connect we will uh, apply more operation on the stream api using say stream api